Morning guys, Paul here. Start of a new day. I'm really excited this morning. I'm heading offshore solo. I'm chasing tuna and kingfish this morning in Victoria Southwest. Um, the weather is absolutely spectacular. Not a breath of wind this morning, so the ocean should be nice and calm. Really looking forward to the day. I don't have any expectations. If I get fish, it's just gonna be a bonus, but putting into practice some of the some of the lessons that I've been taught from my mates Dan and Luke Smith, um, I'm hoping to put those to use today and hopefully get into a tuna or a kingfish. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the footage and we'll see you shortly. Something just cracked, oh, dolphins. <laughs> I freaked out thinking it was a tuna. Hello, mates. <laughs> Come on, another jump for me, mate. There he is. <laughs> One over there. The money shot. <laughs> Woo. And there he is on the sounder. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We don't want to catch dolphins. We want tuna and kingies. Woo! All right guys, just out here in the west, I've just found a patch of fish. I'm gonna drop this jig down and see if we can uh, jig one of these up. We're in 14 meters, they're down in six. I'm just gonna get in front here. Let's see if we can get one of these to eat, whatever they are. Let's drop one down the back, right behind the transducer. There it goes, coming through. Yep. Ah. Just gonna throw this big nomad popper near the wash, hoping for a king. I'm in six meters, so it's pretty reefy, pretty gnarly. I'm just gonna stop here and have a cast, see, see how well this thing flies. It's an absolute monster of a popper. Again, this is not something that I normally do. I do not have a lot of experience with this. Oh, 
head swiveled at the moment there's a whole heap of birds all around me they were diving just before i'm just waiting for re for them to resettle and regroup and hopefully they're going to show me where the tuna are all right i'm seeing some fish busting just up ahead in front of those just under those birds just got to get up to them safely i'm just watching this area for any there we go there's fish busting there we go, there's fish busting. Just gonna make a cast. Come on, come on tuna, where are you? All right, there's tuna busting up ahead, guys. There they are. Too slow again. Just coming up to another school here, guys. It's just to the right of us. They're just bubbling away on top. I'm trying to get myself in the right position to make a cast to this school. Just there in front of us. Come on. Eat it. Yep, there we go. All right, we're on. Woo! Yeah. Happy days, guys. Finally hooked up to a tuna. I just changed lures real quick. Um, the change that I made was I tied 30 pound leader on the bungee cast instead of 60. That's been the biggest change. I'm just getting the gaff ready. Hopefully I can get this guy in. There's a couple of followers with him. The whole school's there. He's not very big, but you know what? He's bigger than what we've got so far. Woo! Oh, fuck. I am thrilled that I finally saw what I think I saw at first. 
and they finally ate. Oh, that's a salmon. Oh my God. It's a salmon again. All right, we'll dispatch him and try and find those tuna. Hope you guys can see that pretty clearly. There's a big school in front of me. I'm hoping there's tuna underneath. I definitely know there's heaps of salmon up the top. I'm just gonna let that sink down and see if I can get something from underneath. See, see if there's a school of tuna under there. Nope. All right, guys, just coming up to that school. They're coming towards us. This is right at the head of the school. Here they come. Just coming towards us now. It's a big, big school. But they're not, uh, I don't think they're tuna. Look at this guys. There are literally millions of salmon all around. I'm cranking this big stick bait through and they do not want it. They're following, but let's see if I can drop a little jig down. Be interesting if they'll eat this. Wow, this is incredible. They've gone under the boat. And that's what they look like. It's just schools and schools and schools of them. And they just do not want anything I'm throwing at them. Winding back a silver jig, nothing. That is phenomenal. So they're keyed in on something very, very specific that I just do not have. Hey guys, all done here in Port Ferry. I'm absolutely wiped. It's been a huge day. Didn't catch any tuna or kings, but caught a bunch of salmon and some pike. Um, I'll show you guys the, my travels today. For the day, I covered around 117 kilometers which is absolutely huge. So here we are in Port Ferry. Then I made my way out to Julia Percy Island. Did some fishing around there. Made my way around and then shot back across and fished around Tower Hill. So for the whole day, just gonna show you my trip calculator today. 117.6 kilometers. And in terms of fuel usage, this thing is absolutely unreal, this four stroke. I'm just gonna turn the gauges on. I've still got half a tank left. So for 170 Ks, I probably used 38 liters today, which is unbelievable. Um, anyway, I learned a lot, so I'm gonna apply it in my next trip out. Um, it was tough. I'm still a bit disappointed that I didn't get onto a tuna. I saw them. I had a few casts at them, but they were just moving really quickly for me today. Um, hope you guys still enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.